Have you guys ever wondered how material takeoff is done on a house of this size? A lot of people get really confused. Some people try to do it on paper. I have a way online that makes it super easy. It's a way that I've been doing it for over a year now. I wanna share that with you guys because I did material takeoff that was accurate as can be on this house, multi-level in less than 10 minutes. From the wall panels that we needed to the bats and the trim, everything else in between. Let's go back to the office. I'm gonna pull up Connex Jobs, who is also today's sponsor, and show you guys just how I did this material takeoff in less than 10 minutes. Now I know some of you guys see these sponsored videos and think that it's just a cash grab. I did my material takeoff in 10 minutes. Some people send their plans off to have material takeoff done at a local lumber yard, and it takes up to a week to get it back. So I can promise you guys, if I'm showing anything here on the channel, it's because I actually use it. Connex Jobs, 10 minutes full takeoff on this project here. Let's get to it. Some of you guys said having me on screen was a little bit distracting in the last couple of videos, so we're not gonna do that this time around. This is Connex's program. You guys have seen this before. I have all my tools up top here. We're going to select the length tool labeled one by four trim. Now this specific tool measures in linear feet. We're gonna go through and hit all of our corner trim, our window and door trim, and where the wall meets the lid as we run a one by four there as well. Now you can see that elevation on the left there doesn't show the exterior siding. Luckily, the left and the right are identical sides, just flip-flopped, since this is a duplex. So all I'm going to have to do is measure out the right-hand side, and whatever I get on the right, I'm just going to duplicate that. So we're going to hit all the corner trim, we're going to go up over to where the lid's going, we're going to hit all of our windows, make sure we get everything, and once we're done, we're just going to duplicate it for the left-hand side. So you can see that every measurement we take has that light blue line, all of those remain visible throughout the time that you're doing your takeoff. If you miss anything, it's pretty easy to spot. Up in the top right, we have a drop down menu. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate right there. That's going to double up what I've already counted for that left hand side that doesn't have an elevation. We're going to head up top now, work the back side of the building. The back is fairly simple. There's not much detail to it, just a bunch of windows and doors. So we're going to go up over that little roof right there, up the corner trim all the way across the face and back down. We'll start hitting all of our doors and windows. This plan set actually changed. That window and door that I just measured out is actually one big slider now, but the material didn't change all that much. I'm gonna make sure we hit all of our windows and all of our doors. On the right hand side, you can see that the measurements we're doing are being added to that drop down menu as we do them. If there's ever a measurement that you don't like, you can click it and delete it. If you ever need to duplicate them, you can click them and duplicate it as well. We'll make sure to get everything there. And that side's done. We'll head to the front. The front gets a little tricky. There's a lot more to it. So as long as we take our time, make it nice and clean, we should get everything. I run a one by four for all my board and batten siding up along the soffit. This closes everything off real nice and gives me a nice spot to land my one by two bats into. We're gonna make sure to get the garage, the garage doors, and everything we can spot from here. Keep in mind, a material takeoff is only to get you as close as possible. If you do need to pick up extra, it's not gonna kill you. So we've got nearly everything here, missing a couple windows. These windows here on the front of the garage were pretty fun. They were framed three times. The first two times didn't work, specced out by the architect. The third time finally worked and we went with our own numbers. So everything is done from there. That's the elevation from alley. Back elevation is done as well. The bottom is done. We are completely wrapped up measuring out for one by four. Now we're going to select our siding battens. This is a little bit easier. I'm just going to take a measurement across the wall. I'll show you why a little bit later on. I have some simple math that'll work out that'll give us our bat number. So we want to hit half of our gable end and then a line all the way across all of our walls. We're going to duplicate that for the left hand side that we don't have and head up to the top. A 
a simple click and drag all the way through will measure out the top and a simple click and drag all the way through on the bottom will get the bottom. Same thing across the face, a little bit more complicated though. We're just going to click and drag all the walls that are full of bats. Same thing here, we're just going to click and drag on all of our walls. Explain a little bit more about why we're doing this a little bit later on. You guys will understand it by the time this video is through. Basically, we're just clicking and dragging on every single wall that we have. What we're going to do later on is convert that to inches and divide it by 16 since the bats are 16 on center. Let's move on to soffit material, show you how to do that real quick. This is a very simple one. You just click and drag along the roof line on all four of your elevations. Once again, I do have to duplicate this to match the one on the left. Now we're going to move up to the top, hit that roof right there. Pretty basic roof on this house. It was a tall roof. It was a 6 and 12, but not much to it. The face here is about the only detail we've got. You want to make sure you get all of your soffit, all of your level runs, and all the runs that run on the rake. Can't forget these little pop-outs here on the side. And just like that, we have a linear measurement on all of our soffit. You can see all of them grouped in here. I like this because it keeps everything super organized. And towards the end of this video, I'll show you how I break everything down. Now we're going to switch over to our square footage tool and click and drag and start pulling numbers for our actual sheets. We're going to pull half of the gable in because if you were to flip the other side, it would make a perfect rectangle. And we're just going to click and drag over the whole body of the building. This is basically going to add up a square footage for everything. Duplicate that to match the left side. We're going to click and drag on the sides here on these little pop outs and all the way across the back of the building. And just like that, the square footage on the back is figured out. Super easy. The front does get a little bit more complicated. There's a little bit more to it. So we're going to do our best to try to get this as accurate as possible. We're going to pull half on our gable ends. Make sure we hit every wall that we can. And remember, a material takeoff is only to get you as close as you can possibly get without going way over or way under. Everything's in that nice drop down menu. You can see our total square footage there. We do have two groups because I did have to duplicate that first one. But just like that, we have our square footage totaled up too. In the top right hand corner, there's a button that says review. You can click that and it'll give you that rundown right there of everything you measured out. From there, you can hit review and quote, and that's going to bring up this proposal. A lot of you guys said you've had trouble with proposals, sending out something that actually looks professional. I know personally I've seen a lot of different subcontractors invoicing and proposals and a lot of them look subpar. Connex allows you to basically plug in any info you have into their program here and put out a decent looking proposal. Now I'm going to pull open my notepad and my calculator. We're going to add up the overall square footage to find out how many sheets we need. We're going to divide it by 40 because that's what a 4 by 10 sheet covers as far as square foot goes and that's going to give us around 100 sheets. From there, we're going to add up our lid material. That comes out to 484, and they're 8 foot long. We're going to divide it by 8. That gives us around 60 sheets of that lid material, the 24 by 96. Next, we're going to measure out for all of our 1 by 4 trim that we did. We have a total linear square footage of 1156. We're going to divide that by 20 because I'm buying 20s. That gives us 57 sticks at 20 foot. And the last thing we're going to calculate here is how many bats we need. 
we measured out 282 plus 119 puts us at 401. We're going to multiply that by 12 to put it into inches and then divide by 16. That gives us around 300 bats that are 10 foot tall. In under 10 minutes, we were able to figure out all of our bats, all of our trim, all of our lid material, and how many sheets we need to sheet the whole entire place. Now they do have a quoting system on Connex that allows you to pretty much quote out any project you've got. They have line item breakdowns, inclusions, exclusions. That'll cover what's included in your quote, what's not included in your quote. You have line item breakdowns for everything. You have a nice header up top that you can put in a professional business photo if you wanted to. And at the bottom, they've got a spot for terms and conditions where you can outline your pay schedule, your time and material hourly rates, and much more. If you're not good in Microsoft applications, I highly suggest you get on here and at least play around with it and see what it could do for you. You can either save this as a draft and send it via email, or you can send out the quote directly from the Connex program. That's what we're doing here. We're going to plug in my email address, put my name down there at the bottom, head of HR, throw my phone number at the very bottom, don't text it, it's not really my number, send me a copy, and off it goes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that takeoff video. We did everything super quick from our wall panels to our bats, our trim, our lid, everything in between. It went very quick, and so far we've been pretty much spot on with material here on this project. Couldn't be happier. If you'd like to learn more about Connex Jobs, links are in the description down below. If you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe button is down there as well. Any questions you may have, drop them in the comments. Big like. I'll see you guys next time. Bang on.